Hello everyone. Allegation of paper leaks of the NEET UG exam along with the cancellation of the UGC NET exam while the CSIR NET and NEET PG exams have been postponed. In this regarding today, we discuss a critical issue in Indian education, the federal structure and its impact on education management. Let's dive into the historical background first. Under British rule, the government of India Act 1935 created a federal structure. Education was under the provincial list. After independence, education remained under the state list, meaning states managed their education systems. During the emergency, the Swaran Singh committee recommended moving education to the concurrent list. This was implemented through the 42nd constitutional amendment in 1976 without much debate. Later, the Hanata party tried to move it back to the state list but didn't succeed. Now, let's look at international practices. In the US, states and local governments manage education standards, while the federal government focuses on financial aid and equal access. In Canada, provinces control education entirely. In Germany, each land state shapes its educational system. South Africa has a mixed approach with national and provincial roles. Arguments for keeping education in the concurrent list include a uniform education policy, improved standards and synergy between the center and states. A uniform policy ensures consistency in education standards across the country. Central oversight can improve educational quality. Collaboration between center and states can lead to better policy formulation. However, there is a strong case against a one size fits all approach. Financially, states bear the majority of the education expenditure. Centralization hasn't eliminated issues like corruption as seen in recent NEET and NTA problems. The Indian Constitution initially addressed education through Article 45, mandating free and compulsory education for children up to 14 years. The 86th amendment made it a fundamental right through Article 21A. The RTE Act 2009 operationalizes this right. Given the diversity of our country, a one size fits all approach isn't feasible. States should have the autonomy to frame their policies. Central institutions can continue to regulate higher education. In conclusion, there's a need for productive discussion on moving education back to the state list. This would enable states to create policies suited to their needs while central institutions handle regulation. Balancing national goals with regional needs is key for an effective education system in India.